Yeah, good to win a close game. I think that obviously that team uh, needed to f get a feel for what it takes to win a close game instead of letting them slip away. So uh, hopefully it's something we can build on. Obviously it wasn't easy for us. Uh, first hour of that game for us was very ugly, and I addressed that with the team. Uh, we're a pitching and defense team, and early on the walks and the errors were just not good. So the good thing is they, they settled in, uh, and the last, I'd say, seven innings of the game, we played pretty good baseball. Mark, you mentioned that talk after, I guess, the third or fourth inning. Uh, you know, what all can you say to them in the, the heat of a game and, and hope to get those kind of immediate results? You know, there's a fine line. In that game, there's a fine line between do you try to help them relax because they're pressing or do you need to, you know, give them a little kick in the butt? And truthfully, I did a little bit of both. I did a little bit of both. Uh, and I let them know after the game I, I was probably a little, a little more on edge than normal just because of this weekend and – um, because of what's ahead of us, and I wanted us to play good enough tonight to create some momentum. And so, you know, those first few innings, um, I was trying to get their attention. And again, in those situations, you've got to turn left or turn right in terms of helping them relax or giving them a kick in the butt. Um, it was a little bit of both for us tonight, and I thought, I thought again, the last seven innings were, were more how we want to play baseball. Just feels like Jeff's hit into a lot of bad luck early in the season. A ton, yeah, a ton. I mean, how good was it to see him finally kind of get that hit? In the yeah, sixth? it was. It was. Um, again, that that was not hit as well as probably 10 of the balls he's hit so far this year that have turned into outs. Um, but this one was well placed, and it was a big clutch hit. Ended up being the game-winning hit. So good to see him rewarded because he, he has taken a ton of really good bats. After the bullpen has struggled the way it has the last few games, how, how encouraging was it to see Bosnick come in and shut him down and pitch as well as he did? Yeah, Bosnick threw really well. And, and he's a guy coming off you know Tommy John in the past, and we're hoping that he's getting a little bit better every week. Uh, he's got a real breaking ball, and he was 88-89 with, with decent command of the fastball. Not great yet, but enough strikes. He, he only walked one guy in almost three innings. Um, so that'll help us. That'll help us. Mark, I know it's still early. You got a whole lot of games left, but TJ Shook looked great tonight. Is that a guy you say, okay, you're my closer until somebody knocks you out? No, but he'll be a key guy back there. He'll be a key guy. I, I want to get to the point where our bullpen, every guy we, we come in there is dominant and doesn't have to be overused, and uh, we don't have to wa worry about them walking guys. I was going to ask about TJ, but um, you also, North Florida had the time run at third base, both the seventh and the eighth inning, um, and, and you're able to get that out, Bosnick once and, and Shilk once. What does it say about them to be able to get the, the tough out at the end of the game? That's huge, John, huge. Um, again, the first quarter of the season really is, is trying to get guys in situations where they can grow from, learn from, um, and so Bosnick, he needed to he needed to come through there and and that will pay dividends down the road and then TJ shook to get those last six outs in dominant fashion I think will also pay dividends but we, we wanted to show the confidence in them that, that that we think you can do it here in these key situations and, and they came through so you just hope the lessons you learn early in the year don't cost you games today um, they did a really good job and also, in, I think it was the second inning, uh, the double play you, you challenged. What, what did you see there? And, and also, what, what did you see on, on the play as far as the relay goes? What, what went wrong there? I, I have to look at the film to know for sure. Why did I, why did I go to review? There was nothing to lose at that point. It, it could have been a two-run swing. Um, the runner, it was borderline. Did he go into the bag? Did he not? But you've got nothing to lose there, and it's a potential two-run swing. So anytime you can have a potential two-run swing on a review, you just never know what an umpire might see on review. He might, might give you that call. So it's, it's more just a proper gamble at that point. Um, I've got to look at the film to see if, if Wes didn't stretch properly. Uh, I've got a feeling maybe he got his feet tangled up a little bit, and, and it probably was a catchable ball. Um, but we, we've got to look at the film to really know for sure.